video, I wanted to do an 8x8 eight eight watercolor paper um, page, spread page of faces. And I was thinking of, um, at first I was thinking of doing acrylic, but I'm thinking I'm going to go with watercolor. So I might do some sprays and stuff and then do some watercolor or water soluble colors like the pastel chalks or um, the water crayons or something like that. So I just could put this down. I think I'll put my camera up just a tad. <clears throat> and I'm going to use this circle here. Circle one. And I'm going to grab some sprays. I think I'm going to go with orange and yellow. So I'm just going to play with it here. Some yellow. Orange. And oops. Just spraying all over the place here. <clears throat> I'm going to probably save this for another page. I do have another 8x8 here um, ready to work on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to push this out of the way. I'm going to throw this down. I'm just going to put this as a background color or something on my other one. And let that dry naturally on the side. And then I'll dry this up. So I dried up this. This is my opening of my page so I want to layer it I'm going to really try a few new tricks just kind of like in my mind when I'm thinking um, I want to make faces so this is kind of going to be my version of the faces and galaxies or stars or something like that and I know it's kind of crazy right now but who knows how it's going to turn out because there's no you know um it's no right from wrong and I'm just going to enjoy playing with it. I'm going to grab fresh water here because I have a bucket of very used water and then move that over. Still got to wash my paintbrushes from the other day. So anyways, I got some fresh water just for dipping, but I also dip too with my water pan fine. And so I'm just going to go in and start making some faces. See how that works for me. I think I got uh, coconut in my eye. I think I have coconut in my eye, guys. <laughs> it's blurry. One eye's blurry. Um, I put coconut, uh, organic coconut, as cream on my face, so uh, that's quite possible that I got coconut in my eye. Oh. So there is a face. So I'm just going to go around making faces and play with that. Let's, so now I pretty much have all the faces I want. I'm just really going with this one like kind of a crazy idea. I'm going with a lighter gray for some of the brows. I noticed I'm really getting too dark for some of them. So I'm just kind of going. You know, a lighter gray. Some of them are not really going to need a brow bone and the nose and all that stuff, but play with it. I'm just going to play with it and see what I can get out of it to make it more look, I don't know, cool. And who knows how much of this is going to be seen. I'm just kind of playing with it and kind of thinking as I'm going along, well, what do I want to do next? So, whoops, I got um, lots of faces here, and I could have sped through it, but, whoops, that one already has a, but I just thought, well, you know, I'm just doing these faces, he'll pop back on and see, see what it looks like, it's all the same little, 
doing my little eyebrow nose thing and some of them are not even really showing much so just try to make it look like their faces and give it the appearance we got quite a few done so we'll know what the ones in the background are too so I don't know it's kind of like representing the like oh space or stars I've been watching a lot of Doctor Who maybe that's where I'm getting it from today <laughs> lot of the doctor and just in that crazy space right now so that's kind of cute let's see what else I'm gonna do I think I'm just going to kind of fix up some of the faces a little bit to what I like. Give them a little bit of character. And then I will, um, I'm going with this really light green color right here, teal, light, light, light. I'm kind of giving it a face shape more. And I'll just go with the ones that you know that might be a little on the dark side. There we go. So I'm just gonna squeeze some of that color out. There we go. So I'm just kind of going on one side, making a shadow, but it's a kind of a tealy, tealy color. It's almost giving it a cheek. So it'll be more of the larger ones. I did a couple of small ones and mm, doesn't, you know, maybe some of these ones will be okay. Almost doing like a little question mark on these little ones. Shape to get the sides that I want. So if it's too much color, I'll just pull some out by dabbing it. So it's pretty easy, the soft pastels to work with. So. Does this look like abstract faces? Galaxy, galaxies or stars or something, moons, I don't know. Far away faces and far away places. <laughs> or like a dream. So, I think that is what I want on that. Um, I'm going to go with a little bit of a pink the other side here for the bigger ones. I'm not sure how it's going to look on the other ones, but I can always go over some of them. See, it's, it's kind of neat. Closer. Gives it a bit of a almost human-y feel. Humany. There's a word. I make up a lot of words. <laughs> so I'm just kind of going around the eye and throwing in that pink. And it's adding some color to the little ones, even if it doesn't like make sense and show much color. So. Still worth, still worth doing it. That one looks like it's crying. That's pretty cool. So just playing with it. So what I'm doing is kind of doing like a question marky look again. Paint. I'm kind of going over the eyebrow and around and a little like, uh, 
squiggle like around like that. So it's like a little question marky paint scribble that's going around the eye, kind of giving it a little depth or something in the face. I don't know if you guys can see that. Kind of almost giving it like that half of a heart or something. This one was, I still did the same thing on that side, but it's kind of what I'm doing to make it look like whatever it's looking like here. How you so it does look like a little bunch of little faces now more so just because you're adding the, the colors, different colors. To me, it's giving it like the appearance or the, in your mind, like you're looking at the big one picture, but the little ones are in the back. <clears throat> it's making it, I don't know, very pretty full anyway. And I'm just going to keep looking for a few extras that I have missed or that I want darker. And it's really looking cool. I was like looking at the stencil and I'm like, I want to do faces. And I was thinking, well, do I want to use my face as stencil? I'm like, no, I want to make whole bunch of faces, something different. So we're doing it. Now I'm just going to go back with my teal and a couple extras that I think I missed. Even if see here's north nothing on that on that um that little circle right there there's nothing on it but I'm gonna put the pink on the other side and then it's gonna look like it's just it, it's gonna be like a background of a the face just pick it more color I think it's just going to give it uh, the feel that there is something, a face on these other little worlds or whatever they are, stars or whatever. So it gives it the impression that there's lots of faces. Clean my brush a little bit better. Going over. Some brow. I'm going to dip in my black hair and just go a couple eyes. There, I could see better now. My cream's kind of <laughs> soaked into my face. I'm like, yeah, that's a good idea. Put cream on before you are. So you can just totally see everything. Or the coconut oil just kind of like goes everywhere. There we go. I don't know if that was too dark, but. So I'm just kind of going over some of the eyes again. So this is just my water pastels or my soft pastels. I keep saying water, but they're water soluble, 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 English. So that is that. So now I'm just putting a few pieces on, details on, but that's good. So I'm going to go and launch it. I'm going to add a little bit of a really red, see if I want to do a red lip like that. I think so. So it's kind of like a... It almost looks like a little wing, wing in a circle. So in these ones, it might just look like a little V or a really wide open V or a dot in some cases. Just 
give it illusion of a mouth. So the big ones, I'm going to make it more like I was saying, like a bumblebee, a, a coloring bumblebee or something, you know, like a little wing wing in the body. But that's what I'm doing. It's a little. A doodle, it would be like a doodle scratchy bumblebee. Wing wing body. So I'm just going to kind of dot a few of them mouths. So look at that. Isn't that cool? Or is it just me and I'm crazy? It could be just me and I'm crazy, guys. <laughs> could be just like, what is she doing? She's lost it. Anyway, I'm happy with that. I think it's cute myself. So I was thinking an idea now. This might be a little crazy. Okay, I wanted to put more layers on, but I don't want to wreck the faces. I'm going to give it a nice dry, and then I think I'm going to go over it um, to protect my faces. And I'm going to show you guys, i got to find where they go or whatever, but I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to try to protect it. So I'm going to go heat this up. I found my um, holes. I'm gonna go over it with some gesso. You guys are probably gonna think I'm crazy. I'm thinking I'm crazy. Let's okay. see if this works. I'm gonna have to really wash off my stencil after. I'm not gesso. Goodness gracious, Mod Podge, losing it. So I matched it up, and I was gonna quickly go over with my Mod Podge. It's actually not smearing it bad. Then I'm going to have to run and wash my stencil because I don't want to have permanent Mod Podge on there. I don't think it, I don't know if it's going to do any damage. This is crazy. I'm, make, I'm making it up as I go along, guys. If it doesn't work, then you guys know what not to do. <laughs> but that is one. Then I went this way, flipped it over, and I went this way. See, I've done um, gesso resist or ah, exactly. Um, um, Mod Podge resist before, so this is gonna be a new, new one. And this is watercolor paper, guys. On um, like a, I don't know, 150 or I can't, I can't remember. I can't see it from here. The pad. So it's not smearing. So now I'm being very, I'm being less careful because it's not smearing, and I'm liking it kind of cool so I seriously just made this up right now guys so I didn't try it out this is my first experimental so I got the Mod Podge on if you can see it and I did a second coat which was really messy some of the Mod Podge went through I wanted to thicken it up and but eh, yeah it, got, it did kind of smear a bit but that's okay so I did you can see the sheen on them so let's see how it's turned out. What I'm going to use is my misters. I'm going to use my metallic misters, or my metallic, my mixed media deck art. And it's going to spray like crazy. And I'm going to wet down the brush like very wet and almost turn it into like a watercolor, hopefully. And let's see how it works. I mean, the worst can happen is it covers it up and we just move on. So I got it sprayed. And... I'm going with the lightest color that I chose first. Now the glue is going to start like can like kind of get all really wet and move on you. So just a warning to move your work around really quickly when you're doing something like this. So that's one. 
not bad. I'm going to go over my paper towel on the faces. And I, the glue is all like pretty close to dry. So, I mean, picked up some of the color. I don't know if this is crazy, guys. I don't know what you think. Um, like going for the the crazy. I'm really gonna wet it here. See how much of the face. If I can save the faces with that technique that I did with the. Come on, spread it around. Or if I'm just losing it. So let's see here. I am pretty close to, like, this is not bad. I can really see my face is still. I do did make a lot of mess of the glue, you could see that, but it's not bad. I did a nice um it's a test and it's kind of working. So I'm just gonna kind of pick it up off my faces here. And it'll pull some of the paint out, but it'll look cloudy or whatever. So, this wet tea space right here. So, it did form some of a resist, and I can still get some of that off. Oh yeah, I can rub that. Hey, that's not bad. So discovering it. Gone, what's that? Um, gone to places. Oh, I can't think of the words. Man, I used to watch Star Trek all the time. I know someone's going to be like, hello, what's this? Yeah, rubbing it off just works just as easy. I was thinking I was going to wreck the paint in the background, but no. It's soaking into the paper. And it's looking spacey. The skies are not perfectly um, a solid color. Although I did, I should have been more careful with the Mod Podge. My second coat, I went really splotchy. And I'm like, oh no, where are there's nothing you can do after that. I tried wiping it up, but you, you just more you smear it, the more you're gonna add much more around. But I like that. It's kind of got that spacey look or something, and it's just like a dream or whatever. I'm gonna go with the purple now and really water that down. I'm not getting the whole paper here because I don't want the whole thing being purple. I want it to look spacey. That's actually pretty cool. So I like this technique. If you do a stencil and you do a like a Mod Podge, a neater Mod Podge resists, it works really nice. And look, I'm trying to add some purple back in. I like that. It's looking spicy, guys. I'm going to go a little bit more of the E, -E turquoise. And I'm not sure if I'm going to wipe it off in all the spots there. I'm just going to kind of try to be more, uh, instead of watering it in, let the 
paper kind of soak that up a bit. That's cool. Get that space look. It's really looking cool, guys. I'm pleased with this. I think this is a winning one. So, uh, am I making guys blurry? I looked and the thing's going blurry. Okay, probably going to add a little bit more purple. And... See how I'm just adding a little bit in the make it pick up. I think it's looking spacey. So I keep putting my caps back on guys. These are really they get really weird, funky. So just a warning. They're great colors though, just the acrylic liquid color. So this is the back of the the um, watercolor paper, but it's still working good. Um, cool, I gotta do both sides, so I was making it into a journal page. And I'm gonna really water this down a bit here. Oh my guys, I still want. My face is to show up. So this is really looking cute. Alright. I might have to do a little black around here. I'm going to try a little white. See how... If the white works, it doesn't work. We'll leave that. I want to do a little bit of a cloudy, but I can actually just go like this. With the straw here. I don't know if white's going to really go in. There's so much color in there now, but to make it a little cloudy. Yeah, it does, eh? There. I'm going to dry this up, guys. I'm really happy with this. I have a couple more colors. I have black here. And that's going to be a mess. This is a very mess. And I'm just gonna add the water. But I don't want it that black. But since the edge here was I didn't get the stenciling in there too well, I wanted to do a bit of I'm just going over, I'm being crazy. This could be this could be a really crazy thing. Okay, I'm really going over it now. There we go. I kind of got the... Still, the glue is still there. That's why I did two coats of glue, too, or the Mod Podge, because I didn't want to rub it all off doing this. And because you, you wet it and you rub... So, kind of looking spacey. I really like the way this has come. You see how it's spreading like that? Like that. I'm going to leave that going like that there. See if I can get it to go like that. And just... The other places, can you guys see how it's kind of doing that spreading? I like that look. And I want to do some here because I did a lot of glue there and I want to make it look like a cluster of some stardust or 
something. I'm happy with it, guys. I'm probably going to add some gold or something to you. I have some yellow misters. Let's see. Um, this is a shimmery. I'm thinking I'm going to dry some of this nice white on there first. So this came up pretty cool. Um, I like the white. It kind of looks really, I don't know, cloudy or something. So I'm going to put a little bit of this misters yellow all over and see if I could spread it with water without messing up the too much of the it's making it kind of green on the blue so wash the brush and go over it really good because now I don't know if I want it to be too greeny but I got that shimmer in there so that's nice and it doesn't pick up very well on the camera it's got a nice shimmer Is there a clean cloth around here? God, get a clean one. That was a brand new one, too. I'm gonna dip it in. Some of my faces are kind of hidden, but that's pretty good. And all to, it, on all honesty, it did really good. Uh, resist on there love it okay I'm going to try a little closer guys just a tad I know you won't see the whole page at once but I'm going to put a little bit of black shimmer on let's we'll see what I can do with that I don't know if I'll like it I'm gonna go over on some of the glue parts with it here That. that were a lot. See what I could do with that. It'll pick up on that. Mm -hmm. We'll see what happened. So I'm just doing that. I'm going to do some gold shimmer maybe, or silver on there, I think. And then, see if I can find that silver. And, oh, this one's pretty dry as well. Here's my last one. I'm just going to go around the edges a little bit. I'll kind of give it a little bit of a border for my page. This is my, um, I guess like a journal page. Oops. I'm not sure if I'm going to write anything in it because it's just like the faces, but the title, I don't know. Ooh. Don't really have a anything I want to write in it right now, but who knows? Eventually, I could go back and do that. So that is the bit of a border around there, just a bit. And I'm gonna go in with some splatters. I think. Um, I'm just going to first probably actually go in my calligraphy pen. I don't think, I don't know if I want to write anything. I just want to maybe make a bit of more of a border for my page here. Maybe. I'm not going to go across the faces. I have my paints here because I want to do a little bit of splashage, splashage 
of stars or something. There she is. Look at the do a few little my hands ran across, sorry guys. Few little jewels around here. And that's about it. And there. So I got a few doodles there too, like that. Don't know if that does anything negative for it or if I thought, mm, that's kind of cool. I didn't want to write a word. There we go. I'm going to dry that up and then I'm going to splash. Actually, no, I'm, yeah, I'm going to dry it up first. Use then splash brush here. See if I can get some of these. This might be not be a good brush for this. I want to get some gold splashes. I didn't want them too big. Rinse that off. Now I'm going to do some very watery black ones. I'm going to go over my faces and some of them and kind of fix that too much. But the resist is still working, so. It's not too hard to wipe off of anything. And now my white, which is, oh dear, got some black splashes on it. Stardust, I like it a lot, guys. I hope you guys like this one and I think I'm gonna do a nice gesso or uh, gesso uh, keep saying gesso I got gesso on the brain Mod Podge over top to protect the whole thing and seal it all up and I think then I'm done so yeah I'm gonna dry this up quickly and put a Mod Podge I'm gonna put my Mod Podge on all over now and seal this page in. Sometimes you can spray them. I, I like using Mod Podge. I use it quite often on my pages just to seal it in. Sometimes I'll do it layers depending on something I want sealed and not removed. So I do that often. And I'm going, I'm going crazy with it. Going really crazy with it just to get it on. And seal it in. Seal this puppy. The back page, the back, I think I'm going to do acrylic on it. I probably should have used the back side for this side. Flipping it around. The back side is the front of the watercolor. But I'm going to throw acrylic, something acrylic on that side when I do that particular page. And I'll probably do it in a like a two piece one side per like it's one page you open up this is a full page and then the other side will be one little page so then it won't be this is like one open spread type of thing and that way when you mail these nice little things to your friends or whatever they just go in an envelope and you can do personal swaps or something with these guys so that's a nice thing Okay, Mod Podge him. 
or it, the page, and I'm going to dry it for you guys. This is how it's looking. Um, I just decided now, last minute, see, I keep doing this, um, where I have the swirls, it's just, uh, it looks, <laughs> mind the, the strange, it looks alien, even though it's, <laughs> it's kind of spacey, but it just looks a little off to me, so I'm going to use my um, archival ink, black archival ink, my makeup sponge brush, and my punchinella, and I'm going to go in and do a couple of these round thingamajiggies um, to maybe add a little bit of a visual, like pull it up and away from those lines as much. Even though they're still there, you get a flavor of them, but you're not focused on how awkward they look to me. <laughs> See, now I like that. I was like, oh, that was one of those things they shouldn't have done, but hey, whatever, did it. So now you got kind of maybe shadows of faces in the background, maybe. Use your imagination. I don't know if I like them right there. It's so close. It looks like they're... I don't know. Okay. We'll not put them too close to the faces. But I thought, well, this side too, I should have maybe did some, moved my stencil over and did some over here. But I'm going to add this like they're in the shadows. But I do like the Mod Podge all over it. kind of like a little blacky holy or something I don't know it's a little bit better than just leaving those lines all kind of sticking out so obvious so I'm going to make a few more here And then I think this page will be done. There we go. Sometimes I'll look up on my um, screen and see something that I want to kind of do. So that is done. So I hope you guys like that little um, page and yeah, play with your stencils and see what you can invent out of them. So I invented these worlds or stars with faces and um, yeah, I'll watch more Doctor Who and see what else I come up with. <laughs> anyway, okay guys, I hope you like it. I'll talk to you guys later. Don't forget to crack like a duck. Bye. Thank you.